Today we have the Serato. The Serato received a few changes after the last update, and we're going to discuss if he is worth growing still. Now I'm kind of worried about this one because he did get a few new moves, but they removed some moves as well, and I feel like it hurt him too much, but we're going to test that out in this video. So for one, the Serato has 600 max health, which is a fair amount of health for a dino this size, with 2,600 combat weight, which is not really that high. It is the same combat weight as a Metri, and 100 less combat weight than the Meg. Now when it comes to the moveset, it's always been pretty basic. For the head attack, he has a regular bite, and this bite does 50 damage. He also has a charged up bite, which can do up to 100 damage, so it does a lot of damage to any dinos around his combat weight. And then he has a brand new thrashing ability, which is a powerful bite attack, but it also damages yourself for 25% of the damage you inflict. Now I don't have the damage numbers for this attack yet, but we are going to test this out to see how effective it really is. He has a brand new all for one senses ability. This is where he gains 3% damage increase whenever he's in a group with other medium sized carnivores. And this stacks up to 5 times, making these even more of a deadly packed dino. Or you can use Berserker, which is when you're low on health, your attack cooldowns 25% faster and you deal 10% more damage. Both of these can be really good, I would suggest Berserker when you're playing solo solo and all for one when you're in a group. For back limb he has a kick attack which does medium damage, also a brand new ability, and then he has shove, another new ability which is where he lunges forward knocking back enemies. Now I heard the shove can be good for any of the raptors that pounce on top of you and hopefully we can get an example of that when we get into a game. And then for tail he has armor tail now which is a brand new ability which is where if he gets attacked from the tail side he takes less damage or you have regular tail, or you have balance, which increases your turn radius. Now the thing I'm worried about is they removed his survivalist ability, and they removed his leaping ability. So he no longer has the leaping ability, which I feel made him almost top tier. There was so much plays you can do with his leaping ability. The fact that he just jumps regular now, and he doesn't really have that extra leap, of uh, it just it just doesn't help. And I don't know why they removed it. I don't, maybe some sort of balancing thing, but... They should have just kept it on because leaping was the best thing he had. But maybe it doesn't affect his PvP style too much. Let's go test it out. Okay, so this is the setup I'm going to be using for this video. We have the regular bite with the thrash attack and the shove ability, as well as the berserker sense ability. Let's see how the thrash can do against another dino that's around my size. So we got to find a smaller dino to fight. Uh, so let's go look around for like another Serato or something. Okay, I see a couple Kentros, Styrus, maybe let's do the thrashing attack on the Kentro here. Ooh. We gotta be careful. Oh my god. Wow, the thrash does a lot of damage. Oh my. Literally, the Kentro, I hit him three times and he got bloody. But we hurt ourselves, bro. Look how injured we are. I mean, we are getting attacked by like every other dinosaur known to man right now. But if I can get this kill, that'd be great. Yes. I'll take it. We're about to bleed out. Uh, this Tyra's going to finish this up. See, if I had my leaping ability, I could do like some ankle breaking stuff, but now I can't. Bro, leave me alone. Oh, I'm dead. All right, we're going to try the thrashing on this Alioramus right here that's just minding his business. Oh my god, one hit. He must have been hurt. Yo, one hit, he got bloodied. Yo, if you fight anything your size, your little this thrash attack must be... Um, it must do 100 damage. Oh, I forgot. He's semi-aquatic. Oh, man. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Are you looking on my tail attack on? Oh, get out of here, you little dolphin. Oh, you want some more Kentro? Let's see if we can get him with the thrash. Alright, that's one hit. That's two. Three. I'm trying to, take out, I'm trying to see how many hits it takes. Four... Five. Okay, I think we missed a lot of hits there. Oh no, he is bloody. Honestly, this thrash attack might be a game changer for fighting other smaller to mid-tier dinos. Oh, if we could get the Meg. Let's see if we could do some damage to the Meg. He is pretty fast, though. Oh, let me finish this pack, yo. <laughs> oh my god, one thrash hit. Two. That's two hits. Three. Oh my... Okay, I'm gonna just... I'm just going to guess that he was already hurt, because there's no way we just did that much damage. Okay, we have to, uh... Oh, let me hit him with the thrash while he's sitting down. That's one. 
Let's shoot. Mind your business. Oh, he stumped. Yo, we got him bloody. Yo, this is no joke. Yeah, why are you teabagging? You almost died, buddy. I'm honestly using the thrash so much that I'm forgetting about my regular bite attack. Literally. The thrash is just like the main move here now. Oh, let's see how much hits it takes for the conk to die. That's one. Two. That's three. Oh my god, bro. Mind your business. Oh my god, we have a packy right here. Jump thrash. Oh, I fucked up my jump. No! Oh, come on. Oh, that's one hit. Look how bloody he is. Oh, we can try our shove ability. Let's see if it knocks him off. Oh, it didn't work. Oh my god, wait. Oh, I guess shove ability doesn't knock him off. Okay, we just have to jump to get him off. So to get a raptor off you, just keep tapping the jump button. Eventually he'll get off. For some reason it's not working though. Oh my god, get this thing off me. Thank you. God damn. Come here, Kentra. Come on. Yeah, Thrash Attack is not meant for the Kentro. You're just taking more damage than you need to. Because you're getting the self-reflect damage from the attacks and the reflective bleed damage. So, on the Kentro, you might want to be a little bit more careful. Oh, we got a Pycno right here. Maybe we can see how, the, how it does against the Pycno. I'm just really upset we don't have our, uh, our leaping ability anymore. Oh. Come here, come here. We're getting chased as usual because people don't know how to mind their business. But we have to pick no bloody. Now you can mix the thrash attack with the charge bite. Maybe that would be a good damage combination. Oh, he wants to just face tank it. You're not going to win this. Oh my god, you're not going to win this. Yo, this thrash attack is insane. Insanely strong for smaller to mid-tier dinos. Like, you're going to do a lot of damage. Alright, let's try to get one more kill before we end the video. And I see a Packy right here. Move. And there's, like, no cooldown to this attack either. How's the Packy still, still got his nice jump, but yet my jump is horrible. Ooh, you're bloody. Come on. Come on. It's kind of laggy a little bit. So we have to land. Actually, I can just get him with a regular bite. Oh, he's just... People could... Oh, we got... Okay, we got him. Ah, uh, we're going to lose this. Wait, why are you running, bro? I'm literally 1 HP. Ah. Uh, do I think the Serato is worth growing? I'm going to say yes. Even without his leaping, he is still worth growing. Um, damn, these things are going to be insane to fight in groups. This was just me playing in solo. So in packs, these things will run through mostly any dino. But as always, let me know in the comments your opinions down below. Do you think the Serato is worth growing after the update? If you want to see more videos like this, hit that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more. If you want to help me with testing in future videos, make sure you add me on Discord, Simply Amazing YT. Send me a friend request, let me know you want to help me out sometime, and I'll definitely hit you up if I need help. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.